So can you freeze spinach? <laughs> yes, absolutely. So I'm Jules Clancy. I'm a former food scientist turned extremely simple cooking coach. And I put a bag of baby spinach in the freezer. And yes, it totally freezes really well. And the thing is that it wilts, but then you can just warm it up and cook it in a pan. Completely delicious. Um, but And you can also freeze um, English spinach as well. Like any greens, you can freeze them and you don't have to cook them first. You can just, these were just some spinach leaves that I just, um, I did slice them up first and then roll them up into a ball, put them in a Ziploc bag, squished out as much air as possible. And there they are. And then I can defrost them and use them straight away. Um, but the other option, and this is actually, if I do have a lot of uh, greens that I do want to cook, rather, because the downside to this is it takes up, it's not very compact and it takes up a lot of space in the freezer. So if I am cooking spinach, if I am do want to have a lot of spinach that I want to freeze or a lot of greens that I want to freeze, I cook them up first. So um, we'll, I'll actually show you in a second how to do that. We'll jump into the kitchen and then um, I freeze them in little patty, like little dollops so that they defrost quickly and then pop, store them in a, a Ziploc bag and then they keep just the same as commercial uh, commercial spinach. So we'll jump into the kitchen and I'll show you how to make the cook your own spinach. The thing for, to make frozen spinach, you want to trim the roots, then give it a good wash because spinach can be really gritty and dirty. Then bring a pot of just about one centimetre, so half an inch of water to the boil. We're going to just steam, get in a big pinch of salt and pop in our spinach, washed spinach. That's going to kind of steam and boil just for a couple of minutes. After about two minutes, there we go, um, the spinach will be wilted down, so it's going to get it off the heat and drain it. Then we're going to just put some cold water over it to cool it down, stop it cooking. Then you want to squeeze out as much of the rest of the liquid as you can. Then I like to chop up the spinach so it's ready to eat when it's, as soon as it's defrosted. And then roll it into little balls. And I like to freeze it on a plate so that the balls stay separate and then transfer it to a plastic bag or a container after it's frozen and just the reason for that is just so it defrosts so it's quicker to defrost and easier to use okay so if you found this useful make sure you subscribe to my channel and like and of course um if you want more like simple cooking hacks i invite you to come and download my free app it's called stone soup six ingredient dinners and it's full of like really insanely simple and delicious recipes so just go to thestonesoup.com forward slash app okay hope to see you soon